In this tutorial video, we're going to go over the Shuffle Responder feature. Before moving on, it's important to note that for every premium feature, any outgoing message costs one tax credit, and any incoming message costs a half of a tax credit. Unless it's an MMS e-card or voice broadcast, which costs three tax credits. Shuffle Responder is a fun feature that sends each user up to 100 different messages every single time he or she texts in the Shuffle Responder keyword. Quotes, verses, affirmations, FAQs, the sky is the limit. Let's get started. Once you're logged into your account, click on the Shuffle Responder button. Enter a description for your campaign. Select a keyword. And choose which distribution list you want to use. In the Number of Shuffle Responders pool section, you will choose the amount of random messages you wish to send to your users. You have the option of choosing between 2 and 100 messages. For this example, we're going to choose 100. Click on Create New Campaign and you'll see a whole new bottom part of the page open up. Since in this example we chose 100 in the number of shuffle responders pool, you will see 100 message boxes. You can put a unique message in every single box. Now we are going to change the Shuffle Responder pool to 2. There are two important things to note. You can add more message boxes by pressing the Add One More Responder button. To delete unwanted message boxes, simply click on the green trash can symbol. In this field, you tell the system the maximum amount of messages the message box will send out. For example, if you input the number 50, after the 50 message limit has been reached, no more messages will be sent out. The Import Responder Messages button allows you to import a CSV file of Shuffle Responder messages. Click the button and instructions will immediately appear in the pop-up. The next step is going to explain how to format your Shuffle Responder CSV file. In the CSV file, each row is the box number. Column A is the message. And column B is the maximum number of messages sent box. You can create up to 100 messages. Once you're done with the spreadsheet, click on Browse and double-click your ready-made CSV file. If done correctly, you will see each and every message box filled out. The end of Shuffle Responder message is the message that is sent to your user when he or she has received all of your Shuffle Responder messages. And finally, the User Responder checkbox, if checked, allows users to append a message after the Shuffle Responder keyword. Those messages can be found in your inbox. For more in-depth information on managing your inbox, please watch our inbox tutorial video. When you're all finished, click on Create New Campaign. And you're all set.